Hello guys, welcome to EC Electronics. So in today's video, we are going to see two big recruitment opportunities from Government of India organizations. And these are uh, premium Government of India organizations, which is hiring, uh, especially electronics uh, candidates. So you can call it as a uh, core company of electronics. So it is going to be really exciting. So the recruitments are from CSIR, that is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. That is one uh, Government of India organization that is hiring. The second one is a uh, sister organization or a subsidiary of uh, Baba Atomic Research Center, which is called the Indian um, Institute of Plasma Research, that is IPR, Institute of Plasma Research. So these two organizations are hiring for, uh, especially uh, there is opening for electronic space candidates. We are going to see all the details here. One thing I want to mention here, there is no examination directly. You'll be called for the interview. So there is, uh, you can say that okay there is no test you can relax in that case so let's see all the details here uh, also very soon we are going to post another video or another recruitment update from Bharat Electronics Limited nowadays a lot of recruitments is coming from this uh, organization especially it is an electronics based company and it is a government of uh, India company so it's like uh, too much uh, good things for uh, electronics based cat candidates so wait for that video so in today's video, in this video, we'll be seeing these two recruitments that is from CSIR and IPR. Let's see all the details. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. So the first one we are going to see is from the CSIR, that is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. They are hiring for scientist post that is opening for uh, different locations and that is opening for different branches, but mainly they are focusing on the electronics uh, computer science that related uh, streams we are going to see what are the streams eligible what is the criteria and everything so scientists they are hiring uh, level one and the salary is very good it is one lakh thirty two thousand six hundred and sixty approximately will be your basic pay it's a starting payment so it's like very good uh, for especially like a fresher if you want to join the organization if you are joining with a one lakh thirty two thousand it's uh, something like that can secure your career. 32 years is the age limit, but there is age relaxation. We'll be seeing that. Totally 11 posts is there. Uh, yeah. Okay. We are going to see what are the details. Okay. Let's see what are the posts that are available. Scientist post code 1 SC. Just like ISRO or ISRO uh, hiring for different posts. SC will be the code. So here also. So the first category of recruitment is happening for scientist post code one SC here electrical electronics instrumentation uh, all the categories are eligible or equivalent with a postgraduate degree in IP law. So if you have BEB tech in electronics electrical instrumentation you guys are eligible otherwise if you have like a postgraduate degree in intellectual property it is IP you can apply first class is required. Uh, or if you are having MEM tech, BB tech candidates or MEM tech candidates, both are eligible. MEM tech in electrical, electronics, instrumentation, engineering or equivalent. Also eligible. Or if you have PhD in electronic, PhD submitted in electrical, electronics, instrumentation, engineering also eligible. So electrical, electronics and instrumentation, all the subcategories, I believe that, uh, uh, that the telecommunication is also eligible here. Okay, so they have given desirable qualification is if you have experience with intellectual property it's not mandatory it's not a basic qualification it is a desirable qualification only if you have it uh, it's too good otherwise also you can definitely apply okay uh, job requirement is support csir by facilitating techni uh, technically feasible r and research and development patent fillings you have to do research and stuff okay next one is uh, SC post code 2 here they are looking for MEM tech in uh, information technology uh, communications computer science or PhD in similar information and communication technology computer science equivalent again experience if you have experience with application development system administration computer networking that's good otherwise also you can apply next one is scientist post code 3 that is again for MEM tech IT information communication computer science etc or phd again postcode for four that is bb tech chemical engineering msc chemical science with a postgraduate degree in ip or mem tech in chemical science 
or chemical engineering or PhD in the same. Then course, uh, sorry, postcode 5, again B.Tech chemical, MSc chemical or M.E.M. Tech chemical, uh, PhD chemical. Again, for mechanical also they are hiring with a postcode of 6. Scientist, uh, they have given one more thing, postcode scientist EWS, PhD submitted in the field of science or engineering. That is for economically weaker sessions. There is again for ST, UR, uh, they have given PhD in life science, UR category, PhD submitted in life science or equivalent, OBC, postcode 10, MEM Tech Chemical Engineering or PhD submitted in Chemical Engineering or PhD submitted in Material Science. Okay, so that is the case. So, they have given uh, all the details here. So, for BB Tech Electronics, if you are just having BB Tech Electronics, also you can apply. You don't need to have any, uh, what you say, experience or anything. If you, if you have experience, it is desirable. If you don't have, also you can apply. You don't need to have any uh, other qualifications. Okay, if you have BB Tech, you can just apply. If you have a postgraduate degree, if you just have a postgraduate in electronics, then you need to have a uh, degree in IP law. Okay, otherwise BB Tech in electronics is good enough to apply. Okay, so that's all about the details of uh, qualification and things. Now, they have given that the salary and everything in the first itself, 132,660, it is very, very, very good salary. Uh, let's talk about the selection process. Before that, they have given the details of application and everything. Uh, you have to go through the details. You have to go uh, and apply in the site. The application uh, form is also attached with this. So you can directly take a printout and you can apply directly from here. Because in the notification itself, there is an uh, application form. Okay. So let's see the selection process here. Uh, yeah, how to apply. Let's see that first, then we'll go to the selection process. Eligible candidate can, uh, are required to apply online by accessing the site. Uh, it is a clickable link. So go to the page number, uh, 11, page number 11, please note it down. That is a, that is a page where you have to go for checking the application link. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So there is a fees of 500 rupees, uh, for, you are category, if you are women, SCST, ex-serviceman, abroad candidates, uh, anybody, you guys are exempted from fees. The last date of submitting this application is 14th of February. February 14th is the last day to apply. So that is one thing. Selection process is going to be through uh, only interview. So they have given that the selection will be done through interview and many things uh, matters here. We have seen uh the, what is the requirement first thing is that you have to stick to the requirement if you qualify uh, or if you pass the requirement eligibility then they'll be calling you for the interview so they have given that mere fulfillment of the essential educational qualification does not entitle for calling for the interview it doesn't mean that you are confirmly going to be called for the interview but they will adopt some criteria for screening on the basis of the higher educational qualification, on the basis of the uh, desirable or experience in the relevant, relevant field, on the basis of patent, on the basis of quality, PhD thesis, seminar, like different for different category it matters. Yeah, so these are the things you have to take into consideration anyway. They have not given experience as mandatory. So it's like just a method of filtering out the candidates. Okay, so if you want to see the mode of selection, you have to go to page number uh i believe it is 11 yes just about the application process there is the selection process okay only interviews there is there is no examination let's move to the next recruitment so i'll be posting this link in the description okay uh yeah last date everything we have seen let's move to the next one which is the baba atomic research centers uh subsidiary they are hiring uh which is called the Institute of Plasma Research. They are hiring for the post of trainee scientific officer. For computer, two vacancies is there. For instrumentation category also, two vacancies is there. Here also, based on interview, uh, they will be shortlisting the candidates. 
Okay, so Baba Atomic Research Center or BARC training school is invited online applications for one year orientation course. It's a one year orientation course for engineering graduates and science postgraduates, that is MSE. Postgraduates from the year of 2025, so five years are definitely eligible. 2025 2026 can, uh, candidates desirable for applying for the uh, trainee post. There is a clickable link, there is only two pages okay, for this notification. I like it really. Uh, in that case because it's not a lengthy notification so you can directly get it on the first page itself there is a uh, https www.barkcocesexam.in that is the link that you have to follow salary is very very good it is 56,100 rupees as a monthly pay it is very good okay so they have given the merit list will be created based on the interview of uh, Based on the interview that they will be conducting. Yeah, they will be paid monthly stipend and one-time book allowance at applicable rates. Uh, basic pay is 56,100. Okay, so you just have to apply. Uh, I don't think there is an application fee. So it's like too good to apply for a lot of people, especially if you are uh, in the final years. That is, they are looking for 2025-26 students, engineering graduates and postgraduates. So, all the final year candidates are eligible for this one. Uh, and if you are interested in doing a one-year orientation course, especially with uh, plasma research, like BARC organization, that is too good for your resume, for your career path and everything. That's all for today's video. I'm really hoping that you found the content useful. All the links are in the description. I have also mentioned where to look, which page to look for application process, selection process and stuff. And where you can find the uh, application link. So now, now uh, nowadays, if you see most of the links, they will be putting into the notification itself. They just uh, what do you say? Uh, hyper uh, link that. So just click on that, and you'll be directed to the site. Okay, that's all. That's all for today's video. Please support the channel if the videos are useful. Uh, we are trying to make useful videos more and more, more and more useful content. Suggest your uh, requirements and suggestions in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching.